when the waiter brings your food and they say to you, good luck, then you know. Today we are trying a restaurant that neither of us have been to before. It's called Waterbury. It's just off the beach road, just as you go up into Belito. It's close to my running club actually. It's about 200 meters down the road. I've seen it a lot, but we've never been here. After going onto their Instagram feed the other day, we decided that this is the place we're gonna go for breakfast this weekend. Their food looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Instagram is doing them justice <laughs> because it looks really good. It's a nice area, nice and like like almost foresty so it's mm. it's cool there's lots of shade there's a nice outside section it just looks very nice let's go, let's go. try out some instagrammable breakfast <laughs> this was a good choice yeah it's a nice little pond in front of us lots of trees lots of greenery this place is beautiful it's such a beautiful setting. And it's a perfect weather today. The sun mm. is shining, so. No wind at all. Yeah. Wow. Pretty excited. Okay, and we'll show you guys around just now. I checked out the menu online this morning. It's quite a big menu. Yeah. And it looks great. Lots of sweet stuff. <laughs> we ordered our cappuccinos, at, but before we looked at the menu, and then I saw Mega Chino. And even though I told Chantal that <laughs> we ordered the largest possible, she still went and double checked. I just checked with the waiter to make sure that he's bringing us Mega Chinos. Waterberry has quite an interesting story, it looks like. In the very beginning, it starts. Gramps had a dream of tranquility, of welcome home, kick your shoes off, and stay a while and so on. I'll put a picture of the whole story somewhere in the video. It's quite cute. And they have quotes on every page of the menu as well. This is my favorite one. Chocolate is nature's way of making up for Mondays. <laughs> I, think, I love this place. I think something very cool is that they kind of emphasize on the eco-friendliness because the whole roof is covered with solar panels and they say everything is powered by the solar panels inside the shop. This is what a mega chino looks like. Great cross. Check at that. <laughs> it doesn't even that's, drip down. That's very good, actually. It's so airy. Do the froth drip test. Mm. Nice and hot, which is good. It's very creamy. I love it. Yeah. I think this is one of the best ones yet. After reading all the comments on our last video, I didn't realize how many people actually like Eggs Benedict. Today I'm not going to order Eggs Benedict's, but Craig is going to order a twist on it called Eggs Waterberry. It's like their, probably their signature dish. Poached eggs, mushroom, bacon and grilled tomato on toasted breakfast muffin with hollandaise and roasted tomato sauce. So, Sounds excited. amazing. Yeah. But I saw a picture on the Instagram feed and it looked really unique, different, something that I won't normally order. It's French toast served with fried banana, pecans, honey, cinnamon sugar, and natural yogurt. It's quite a combination. Mm. I would never have thought those things go together, so I'm gonna try it out. Yeah, give it a go. Yeah. So we went on to TripAdvisor again to see the rating, and Waterbury's four out of five star ratings. TripAdvisor rates this place the second best breakfast in Belito. And the restaurant that's actually first, we are planning on visiting and that's actually going to be the last one in our best breakfast series. If we go through one or two reviews, I loved Waterbury for its easy location, beautiful setting, there's a wonderful sense of homeliness when entering Waterbury. And this one, the subject line just says, wow. It's a beautiful location surrounded by greenery outside with a fresh floral interior. You guys must see the wallpaper in here, it is stunning. They even have special masks that match the colors, which is great. I'm, cool. I'm definitely getting one. <laughs> Um, it says wonderful cakes and massive portions dot 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 go easy <laughs> i'm sure it is very easy to just order everything on the menu and yeah. overindulge 
but um, one thing's for sure, I'm coming back here for the cakes. One thing's for sure is I'm hungry <laughs> and I can't wait for a big portion. <laughs> That is Chantal's expression when she got her massive plate of French toast. Massive. Guys, I made a mistake. <laughs> this looks really good, but um, it's massive. I'm a girl, and <laughs> this is the portion that I got. Yeah, where mine is looking fantastic. Yeah, pretty excited. It does. So let's you were in your food, food is prettier, but um. When the waiter brings your food and they say to you, good luck, then you know. <laughs> I didn't finish my breakfast. Craig finished my breakfast yeah. and his breakfast. I realized that the thing that I saw on their Instagram page was not what I ordered. But it was still good though. It just yeah. sounded very similar, so I ordered the wrong thing, <laughs> but it was still really good. How was your ex Benedict? Your eggs good. waterberry. My eggs waterberry. It had like a more of a mushroom type sauce instead of your hollandaise sauce, which was actually quite nice. Nice tomato base as well. And it was big. It was a lot of full. So <laughs> bacon was good. So you had your eggs waterberry and half of my French toast. So next meal, dinner. Because <laughs> I'm stuck. So we saw that there is a little like forest walk here in their garden. So we're going to get the bull and go yeah. on that walk. Go on a little walk. See what we find. Mm. Walk off all of this breakfast. Yeah, we need to walk now. Mm. So let's do it. We saw all the waiters wearing these floral masks and they're actually selling them, so I just had to get one. How nice. Okay, I'm gonna try it on. Yeah, it looks very cool. How do I look? Good. <laughs> Ready for your walk in the bush. Mm. Waterbury is right off the beach road in Benito and there is quite a lot to do in the area. There's a few beaches that you can choose from and spend the day there so you can come here for your breakfast and then go hit the beach and there are a ton of restaurants in the beach road we have chosen not to go to any of them this time they all have standard really good breakfast as well with beautiful views so we'll put a list of all those restaurants down in the descriptions if you are interested we have driven past here so many times and we've never ever stopped here so happy we did. If you come to Belito, you're probably going to want to go to restaurants with a beach view or the ocean view. If you have been to Belito before or if you come from a place that's by the ocean, then uh, I would recommend this place. And especially if the weather's not great for the beach, uh, this is a perfect place to come, have an awesome breakfast or a wholesome lunch. It's just such a good environment. It's beautiful. There's a kiddies play area also. It was just a lovely morning, a lovely breakfast in a forest. And I think we had one of the best tables here because mm. there's four tables on that little deck we were sitting and those tables, since we arrived, were full all the time, so. We got here at about nine o'clock and there were probably like two or three other tables. And now it is, it's 10 past 11 now and that place is full. Yeah, full, full. It was good, glad you guys could join us. Please hit that subscribe button and please hit the bell notification so that you don't miss out on our last episode of best breakfast in Belito. So the place that we're going in the next episode is rated the best breakfast in Belito according to TripAdvisor. So stay tuned for that. We hope you guys are keeping safe and healthy. Till next time. Bye. Cheers. Nice little dam in front of us. We'll show you just now but I'd call it a pond. Yeah more of a pond than a dam. <laughs> So <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> no, yeah, I think you made a good idea. It looks good. Why am I on the side of the video?